Hello to all the ghouls and vampires out there. I'm Joe. I know I don't have the mic on today. It's just wasn't able to get. It. So anyways, <laughs> this is Sadako Returns. And wow, is it bad. This movie is so bad. It's fun. <laughs> I mean, okay. Um... Japanese and Korean horror movies are great. I, I, I've never really sat down and watched Chinese ones. They were like, give it a try. But this one was so bad. It was so bad. But I had fun. <laughs> like, the lead, his acting is so terrible. And the female lead, well, there's like three of them. Well, four with the monster, Sadako. But the three other leads are Sadako's sister, who's kind of meh. Like, the love plot at the end of the movie was kind of weird. Where did that come from? You got the chick with um, the large chest. I'll, I don't want to be crude or crass about it, but wow, she's very beautiful. But her voice was too soft. And her acting so-so at best, but very good looking. Uh, but the problem is she kept wearing these um, shirts where there was lots of cleavage. So in most of the scenes with her, I was just busy staring at her. I'm not going to lie. It was kind of funny that way. Um, as to the other chick, her acting was actually really good. Her and the guy who dies at the beginning, they had really good chemistry, really good actors. If the movie had been about them, this would have been a lot better because they were really, 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 really good. But the movie was really so-so at best. But it was so bad, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I had good laugh uh, at almost every scene. And there were scenes that were kind of creepy. I love how they did the... Um, most of the scenes... Um, in the first girl's bedroom, the one who dies. And the scenes at the office were pretty good. So there's a lot to commend about this movie. This movie was the best bad movie of, well, to come out in, of China in the past few years. Maybe I gotta watch more of these. This was really fun. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like and that subscribe button. As though you were trying to smash, I don't know, Sadako back into the tape or phone or whatever she came out of. And in case you're wondering, this movie doesn't get a rating. It's so bad. It's good. So like, I can't even rate this. It'd be below even a one. But I enjoy, my personal enjoyment would be at a three. So I can't rate this. So yeah, once again, do subscribe. And check out the crowdfund. More on that now. Hey, everyone. I hope you all don't mind me adding, at the end of this video, a quick comment about how, as everyone knows, I'm a bit of a writer, and I've been writing for a while on Substack now, but I recently got accepted for a great publishing deal with a really good publishing house. But the thing is, because I'm fairly new, they want to have a mixed deal. What does that mean? It means I have to pay for part of the publication myself, and they'll pay for the rest. So what this also means is that I would have to pay for a publication package of sorts, a kind of deal between them and I. Now, I don't have the means to pay for the whole thing on my own like that, because the whole, the best package, I guess, or cheapest one would probably be $7,000. So, and that's USD. So I kind of got a find a way to cough up that money. So I figured I'd ask you all if you'd be willing to support a crowdfund. The crowdfund, though, would be only for about half that cost because I could handle the rest of the fees myself. So the whole idea is to ask for $3,500 from you all, and in return, you all will get merch such as posters, mugs, another writer's books, because she's willing to team up with me on this one, and Crown of Blood. All books will be signed either by her, Daniel, or myself, 
well, Crown of Blood will obviously be signed by both Daniel and I. And we will ship it out to you, and the money will be used purely for publication purposes. And, yeah. Um, I hope you all will check out the link below. We've got a great many perks, a great many offers. Hopefully you all will find that they're suitable. We can't offer the book as such because it's not been published. And it'd be about a year away from now. So I don't think anyone would be willing to wait a full year to get a book. So this seems to me the better option. Now, if anyone would prefer the book, I'll think about putting it up. But like I said, I can't guarantee that but do let me know what you think in the comments section down below and i do hope uh if you have the means you will support this crowdfund and i hope you all have a great day take care